the incubation, if you will, of, of Gitman Vintage was kind of discovering our past in the cedar line closet um, and discovering these old line books. So we would pick small checks, madras, oxfords, and literally have the fabrics remade from fall, winter 1982, spring, summer 1979. This project collection did emerge from, from the archives, from the line books. And I think you could make the argument that plaids morphed into prints and now people are putting more pressure on prints to see where that's going to go. It's taking something that's quite obvious and you keep pushing it until it kind of morphs into something else. Looking at a, at a constellation in, in the sky, you have a star and then which shines very bright and then lesser stars and you stand back and you realize it's the Big Dipper, you know? And, and with this particular project that we, we liked a lot was we found this snow leopard head and then through that created a print, created the repeat on the shirt and said, well, what else can we add to that? Well, it'd be fun to do a full snow leopard collar, um, then a full snow leopard shirt. Spring last season, we did a shirt that's the sky, these wonderful clouds, and, and a lot of people said, God, it looks like The Simpsons. I go, no, it's Magritte. And then most recently, it was Drake's album cover. But what, what's great is you have all these metaphorical kind of connotations going on with this one print, but it makes you kind of rethink that particular piece of fabric. And for me, it's finding all sorts of different fabrics, interior fabrics, um, upholstery fabrics, um, fabrics for the kitchen, um, fabrics that are meant to be worn and make them wearable, and, and, but all with the same block, all made at the same factory. You know, like the full snow leopard, full shirt, that was a kind of stage piece. But we sold a few of them, not many, but we did, and you need to continue to present those pieces, to show those pieces, um, because ultimately what we're doing, we're selling shirts, but we never really changed the shape. It's still a shirt, and so it's, it's a blank slate. And so sometimes with the fabrics, I like to like put a little pressure on that, and I'm speaking to a very, very small audience who's actually gonna get where that came from. Um, and to me, that's pretty rewarding.